I'm gonna show you guys how to make a gross beat effect in Ableton. I've watched a lot of other tutorials on YouTube and everybody kind of gets close, but they don't do the last vital step that I think you need to do. So I'm gonna show you guys what that step is. So we have this melody here. And what a lot of people on YouTube will say to do is, you know, take it, freeze it, flatten it so it's audio. And then they'll say to come down here, go to repitch, and then just hit the double here. And while this does give you a gross beat effect, it also doubles the length of your audio, which you don't necessarily want. I mean, you can maybe chop parts out of that and make some stuff sound cool. So usually what I'll do is I'll keep that just for like creative purposes. And then how you can get the actual gross speed effect is just go to a 1 8 grid and delete every other slice. It's kind of time consuming and it takes a while because you got to do one extra step after this. You got to fix all the fades. If anybody knows like a faster process to do this, uh, I would love to know, aside from actually owning the gross beat plugin. This is kind of like the budget version of doing this, but hey, it works. And then as you hear, it's gonna have a lot of clicks in it. It's actually not too bad in this loop, but uh, Usually you just have to fix the first transient on the left side. The back one, it's usually fine. And then, there you go. And then I'll just control J. Then you have that opposed to this. So I hope that helps somebody. That's the closest I've been able to get to recreating the gross speed effect. If anybody else has any other way of doing it or other free plugins to use, I'd love to know them. Leave them down in the comments below. And yeah, that's all I got for today. Take care.